We are now in the monastery of the Holy Cross near Jerusalem. Uh, this is actually the spot where uh, the wood that was made, that made the Holy Cross that Jesus was crucified on, was actually um, grown here. So as the story goes, um, Lot had to take um, from the Old Testament as penance for uh, sleeping with his daughters while he was drunk, uh, had to take the three staffs from the three angels that visited Abraham and he had to put them together and plant them into the ground and he had to water them with water from the Jordan every day. He did this for 40 years traveling 30, 30 kilometers from this point where he had planted the, the three rods of the angels which were made of cypress, pine and cedar, three types of uh, wood and he would bring water every day for 40 years, sometimes spilling it because the devil would put obstacles in his way and he would water this until finally the three rods sprouted and became a tree. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years later, uh, they used this wood, the wood from this tree to, um, to build the Temple of Solomon. However, when the Jews took this, the pieces of the wood to the temple, they found that the, the wood was no good. It would, it would uh, be either too big or too small, and it would never fit the way they wanted it to. So they began to think that the wood was actually cursed. And so they threw it away in the Hebron Valley, which was kind of a, a place where they wanted to throw their refuse, and they uh, considered it to be cursed, and they just left it there because they wanted, ha they wanted to have nothing to do with it. At the time of Jesus, when it was time to crucify him, some of the Jews remembered about this cursed wood, and to add an insult to him, because they thought the wood was cursed, but it really wasn't from Providence, it was holy from the three angels in, uh, that came to Abraham, they went and found this cursed wood in the Hebron Valley, and they brought it and made the cross with which Jesus was crucified on. Uh, it's a very beautiful story because we see that even on the cross, um, we see that there are three types of wood which represent the Holy Trinity. And they, it, was, it comes all the way back from Lot, who was the nephew of Abraham, the patriarch of all Israel. And there is great uh, history to the cross that Jesus was crucified on. This is the church, the main church. It's extremely ancient, full of frescoes. Very, very beautiful. And this church was built by St. Helen. And even though there have been some upgrades over the years, most of it is still original. Uh, you can see here that the mosaics on the floor are original mosaics from St. Helen, uh, Constantine the Great's mother uh, from the 4th century, the 300s, when she built this church as well in the Holy Land. And so that means that the floor that we're standing on is about 1,700 years old, the original. And as you can see, the church is extremely ancient, full of frescoes, and you can see up how the stone is exposed and the domes, there's a clear dome through the centuries. Very, very beautiful, beautiful church. And there are some very beautiful mosaics and uh, very beautiful frescoes. This is the back of the church and the ceiling with the cadilla. Coming around, we will enter also into the smaller room where uh, the actual tree was planted and was cut down uh, that was used to make the cross. It's this way, from the side, there's a side door from the church which enters into a smaller kind of museum part. And as we see here, they have some icons uh, from the older times. They also have preserved uh, some of the vestments from the older uh, centuries of what priests used to wear. And as you can see here in the back is the actual place where the cross was um, cut from the tree and was used. And this is the location. And this is the place where the original tree was planted by Lot himself, the three staffs from the angels here. And has become, has been made into an altar. And we see here in the icons, the whole story of the three angels, Lot fleeing Sodom, Abraham telling Lot what he should do with the tree, the tree being planted and watering, it being cut down for the temple, being rejected for the temple, and then being brought back and used in the crucifixion.